<laughs> it's been a while, oh boy. Let's see if I remember how to do this. Hey Word Nerds, Kate here and Happy New Year. 2022 was a crazy year. If you hadn't guessed by the very different setting that I'm in, I have moved. In March of 2022, I got a brand new job as a book editor, which is a dream come true. And in June of the same year, I made the move from the beautiful mountains of Colorado to the frigid north of Minnesota. 2022 was a big year in terms of writing for me as well as career-wise. I regained a lot of my creative juices and my creative confidence, which was just the best feeling in the world. I finished up draft number five of my novel, Nova's Test, and in October, I sent it out to beta readers. I've talked a little bit before about why beta readers are important, and as I've started getting feedback on Nova's Test, it's been so great. It's been hard. It's always a little bit terrifying to put your work out and expect people to tell you what they think needs working on and uh, what needs to be fixed. But the feedback I've gotten has been so important. With a story that I've been working on for five or more years, I have a hard time seeing what's explained clearly and what's not, what little things from earlier drafts I forgot to take out, or what things are so vivid in my mind that I don't explain clearly enough. I also started writing as a freelancer for the magazine that I used to work for, which has been a really great way to stay connected to a job that meant a lot to me that I worked on for five years. So what does 2023 hold? Well, a lot, I hope. As I've mentioned, Nova's Test is out with beta readers and I've started to get some feedback. So over the next few months, I'm going to be consolidating that feedback, making hopefully a few tweaks and changes. I have one or two scenes that I've thought of since sending it out that I know need to be written. While I'm waiting for feedback though, I'm still keeping very busy. I am researching agents and publishers, putting together a list of what they require for pitching and kind of putting things in order of where I would most like to see my story go. But that's not all that's on my plate. I've started outlining my next work in progress, which I'm tentatively calling The Emperor's Choice. It is a story set in the same world as Nova's Test, and this one is a retelling of Cinderella. I'm also planning to be more active online, both on this website and on social media. So as far as the website goes, you will see that update every Monday. I will alternate between video posts like this one or text posts. And I'm planning to do a lot more on social media. So stay tuned if you want to see what sort of surprises might be in store. Finally, I'm hoping to get a few more freelance jobs lined up. So that's kind of an overview of what I'm looking forward to this year in 2023. I actually have started doing monthly writing goals, which has been really helpful in keeping me on track and productive and still doing a variety of things instead of just getting so zoned in on one project that I don't do anything else. If you're interested in more of my words, which will be coming more often, you can check out my website, kategjameson.com, or you can follow me on social media. I'm primarily on Facebook and Instagram right now, at kategjameson. What about you? Do you have any creative goals for 2023? I would love to hear them and cheer you on as we both tackle this new year. So until next time, happy new year and happy writing. I forget how I sign off of these videos. I, hmm, hmm. You will see me next time, word nerds. That's, that's it. But anyway, happy new year. Let's go, let's tackle this year. I do not know what I am saying, good gravy. Um, but until next time, you will see me next. Um, no, hmm, well, sign offs are hard and I don't remember exactly how I go into mine. I don't, I don't like my old time. You know what? We're just gonna say. <laughs> oh boy, this is a mess. Ugh. You'd think I'd be better prepared for this.